Hey guys, the objectives of this video is to see that it's the head difference which causes flow. We're then going to actually come up with a definition of head, and then we're going to do a couple of examples. So, we need to ask ourselves a question, what causes flow? And I've actually only recently just understood this. So, there's two things that cause flow. The first thing is elevation. Okay, an elevation difference, so elevation triangle, and um, denoting difference, so a change in elevation. So for example, say we have a bucket, okay, and we have the ground, and this bucket is filled with water. So this water, because of the elevation difference, will flow to the ground, okay? So height difference causes flow, and the second thing that causes flow is a pressure difference. Okay, a change in pressure. So say for example we have a pipe, okay, and the pressure at point 1 is 100 kPa, and the pressure at point 2 is 10 kPa. The water is going to flow from a point of high pressure to a point of low pressure. Okay, So these are the two elements which cause flow. So what we come up with is this new word head. Okay, And head is defined as Z plus the pore water pressure or just the pressure of any fluid divided by gamma water. So this is specifically for water. It could be the pressure of oil divided by the gamma of oil if you wanted to. Okay. So this definition of head considers both the elevation as well as the pressure which cause flow. Now head is in meters. When we get the pore water pressure divided by gamma W, we get meters, which is the same as Z, which is meters, right? So an important thing to note is that the head is determined by something called the datum. Now the datum is what you select. You can